Hello, Jerome of his Alpha, and I'm here with a package today. Um, it's pretty darn late, actually. I wanted to make sure that the house was clean, and I did all my chores, and got all the boxes boxed up, and we're also trying this direction instead of the other direction. I normally hold the phone, and I think it'll work better anyway, so we're gonna try that. Anyway, this is the package. It's pretty big. I have here with me Hawk. These are all Azula, except for this one's Osco. Uh, Hop for Faye, sorry, Faye, Faye, Patriot, Azula, German Shepherd, I think I named him Caster, he's my Azula, Little, Husky, and the Border Collie, Mist, and Blizzard, the big Border Collie, or not the Border Collie, the Husky, why am I thinking? Alright, so, in this, I think there are two of them, and we're going to see both of them. I'm going to try not to cut any ears, tails, or uh, anything like that, obviously. Probably should put this down. Blue today. I do love it when they do different colors, though. It does make it really, really fun. So, last time, I think they did green. And I can't remember, I think the time before that, I think they did orange. So I really like it when we... When I get to open these, and then I get to see the colors that they like to use for tissue paper to protect them. Don't mind me, I'm just trying not to cut Hawk. Ah, hang on. It's really hot in here actually right now, so see the first one. I guess we'll pull her out first. It's Ellie the um, King Charles. I believe that's the name. So it's really cute though. This is actually really cute and well made. Um, oh, she's got white. So Ellie the Cavalier or King Charles. I wanted to see the tail. I was really curious to see the tail. Aww. Okay, so first thing to tell you guys about this one. Sorry, I'm holding it weird is that it's very, very soft. They're using very, very soft material. Let's see the tag. Okay, so the tag is officially going to be this. This one is not as stiff, so it's actually a pretty good... It's not floppy either, but it's not as stiff. It's actually kind of cute. I'm kind of falling in love right now. Anyway, here's the tag. Uh, it's about... Oh, I want to say, they said it was going to be about 18 inches long with the tail. It is 18 inches long, so I'd say it's about a 15 inch, 16 inch plush. It's really cute, actually. I won't lie. This is adorable. They're going to make me end up getting every single stuffed animal they possibly have because these are very, very well made. Okay, so we'll talk about her a little bit before we get the next one out. Uh, the colors are like a um, orange tan, not the same color as Patriot, so they're not, you're using the same colors. The fur is longer on the chest and the um, underside and like the haunches. And then you've got the design here, kind of this golden, this golden color here. This is very, very pretty. It's like, it's like a gold almost. So the reddish tint to it. And you got the tan right here. Brown eyes for the dog. Got some airbrushing here. See airbrushing underneath? No, no airbrushing. It's like a um, microfiber thing. So this is not cheaply made. This is really, really nice. And proportional is definitely proportional. Very adorable. I'm actually sold. I love the tail. I love this guy. And I don't even like this kind of dog. And I love this. This is adorable. I'm not actually going to complain about any of the stuffing right now because I actually like the stuffing and how well they stuffed her. So anyway, King Charles. I could put her next to a signature and kind of show you guys how big she is but compared to a signature. Let me get that for you. So next to a signature husky here. So he's a little bit taller than the regular signatures and uh, she's a bit bigger than them actually. Put little friend down here a little bit. Sorry, I'll get to you in a minute. Kind of how she sits. Looks like she can 
She can't really sit down, but this is not as stiff as the wolves at all. So it has a standing position. Really, really pretty color. Big ears. Love this design right here with the little whisker spots. I can't remember what it's called exactly. And you've got a mouth. Sewn in mouth. It's just really, really high quality. These are pretty much European quality stuffed animals at this point in time. And they're really, really, really soft. Like if any of you guys are getting the Azula is known to be very, very soft. So we're gonna go ahead and put Ellie to the side. I think I'm gonna keep that name because that is really cute actually. But I do have a name for this next one. So got her. Okay. So this one's legs are back, like so. Okay, this is pretty nice actually. This is this is um like a not it's not uh crazy soft, but it's got kind of a wiry feel to it, but it's really kind of nice at the same time. It's very, very vintage-like. So we're gonna get him out. He's the big Azula as I drop everything. Big, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. I think we got an their instant favorite. Okay, so we've got him. I'm gonna name him Genesis. I already have a name for him. He, his original name is um, Mika. This is Mika the Husky. I am really, really loving what they're doing with the ears, though. Really loving it. Because of this one... Nope, that one did get it. Okay, so in the ears, to hold them up straight, they kind of have what uh, Capella has in her ears. So, they have these little, um, I want to say plastic pieces in the ears to hold them up straight. So again, high quality. Very, very pretty. I'll fix that. So let's see the, let's see the nose. Okay, so the nose is the same, nope, nope, different from Capella's. So the nose is the diff, is the newer nose. Yep, it's the no, newer nose, I think. Genesis is actually pretty big. He's supposed to be 26 inches. He is indeed 26 inches long. He's as long as Capella. These are a lot more floppy, and they're making me a lot more happier than the other ones that they've been doing. So I am really sold on him. He's very, very pretty. So my husky dog sled team is coming into play now. So I've got Blizzard over there. And I've got her brother, Genesis. The legs... Okay, so let's see. This is a lot This is a lot softer than this, uh, this, but it's very shiny. So this is the coarser fur, but it's not coarse coarse. It's not uncomfortably coarse. It's really, really nice, actually. Let's see their tags. So again, they made the... PCR 12 120 um, and then you got the underside here which is very very soft their legs are going back like so you've got their tick mark you got their claw marks right there three of them in each paw so they didn't forget those airbrushing there isn't a lot of airbrushing on this guy but there is some like there's airbrushing right here and around the eyes and in the ears, so not as much airbrushing as a, um, as a Patriot's airbrushing. And I'll show you the curly tail, very, very pretty. It is not turned sideways like Blizzard was turned sideways. I'll show you. I still love Blizzard, though. So, there they are. This is like the little brother to um, Blizzard. Definitely looks like it. I've got a harness for him in the back, but I love his overall appeal. is really, really cute, actually. I'm gonna see if I can find his um, harness real quick. All right, there is Genesis, um, or I'm sorry, there is Mika, or my name, mine's is Genesis. 
Here's his harness. I finally found a harness, uh, a stuffed animal that fit this harness. I'm actually in love with this design. This is really, really nice. They have, yeah, they're having, they're, they're doing really, really well on their plush. Uh, my qualm, actually, I don't think I've seen the problem as much in this paw, is again, the back legs are, again, they don't have heels, so that kind of puts a damper on the stuffed animal, just like we've got, um, we've got here, um, sorry. We've got here the uh, German Shepherd Colonel, or mine. Mine's name is Patriot. Um, back legs don't have heels, and they don't have knees, but uh, they'll be working on that. Um, and also, the paws in the front seem a little bit too short, so I think this one's actually shorter. Nope, they're the same size essentially. But it looks like their pattern is similar, but at the same time completely different. Like, they were following this pattern, and I really, really love this pattern right now. This pattern is awesome. Please keep this pattern. Um, but see, they are long. I like the curled tail that they did for the huskies to keep them realistic. This one's adorable. I do see that one eye is set a tiny bit higher than the other one, but that is very, very minor compared to some stuffed animals. But that's just, uh, that's just, that's not just all, that's not all of them, that's just, um, one or two that it's like that, and that's easy to fix. I can go ahead and fix that and make it look nice. But overall appeal of it is it's got three different sets of uh, fur. You got the shorter fur, the longer fur here, um, shorter fur again, and the gray fur. It's a really nice light gray. It's actually, this one has like a tone, a like greenish tone. This one has more of a bluish tone. And it's also tricolored. So if you go through the fur, it's tri, or yeah, it's tricolored. So you got white, black, and gray going through there. And it's really, really soft, actually. It doesn't look soft, but it's actually really soft. I'm really, really sold on Azula, guys. I think that they are officially going to be my... Oh, wow, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think they're my second favorite brand. They're moving up because this is amazing. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love this. I love this brand, guys, so much. Look at that face, it's so darling. Anyway, I'll put him in the description of where you can buy him, and you can get him. He's right now $24. Um, he's a lot cheaper than her right now. Um, she was $40, he's now, he's $24, he's on sale, he was $30. But, um, yeah, I'll put it in the description for both, both Ellie and Mika or Genesis and um, let you guys see them and go ahead and purchase them if you like them because I will say right now that they are going to be a very big company one day. They are absolutely stunning and I am stunned beyond all recognition with almost every single piece that they, they've sent me so far. I'm really, really... Uh, my only qualm is probably the fact that they overstuffed their stuffed animals, like they really overstuffed their wolves. Um, they didn't overstuff her. They made her pretty soft and floppy. I'm just, wow. I'm absolutely in love. I don't even like Cal Cal I don't even like King Charles uh, Spaniels, but this is adorable, and I would honestly buy any piece of art that they have available, because this is, this is vintage pieces coming back to life, guys, and we need to really jump on these. We need to support this company, because this is, this is stunning. This is, this is quality stuff that you're not going to see every day anymore. And they're trying to bring it back. So anyway, that's my collection right now of Azula plush. I'm really 100% backing this brand. It's absolutely stunning. I cannot believe this. This is a dream come true for me personally because I wanted to see quality stuffed animals and not beanie boos or anything or squishmallows. I wanted to see quality, realistic animals come back to life, and in a vintage style, and this is vintage right here, this is vintage style. This is amazing. This brand is amazing.
I'm going to sing praises till the ends of the earth because this brand is amazing. If you guys would just give them a chance. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And um, thanks for so much for watching, guys. Bye.